You may have heard some of the big news out of the Dalton Distillery. Their Tazare Sunflower Spirits now available right here in Tennessee. And here's a driving force behind the Tazare Spirits. It's uh, Van Brown, Chuck Butler, and Raymond Butler. Gentlemen, good morning good to morning. all of you. Uh, big news, you finally got the go-ahead for the Tazare to be distributed here in Tennessee, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And that's only been in effect, what, past few days? Hadn't been long. Yeah, a couple days. Um, this is your brainchild, right? That's right. I want you to tell me how you came up with this idea. And if you don't know, these spirits are made out of sunflower seeds. So it's got a whole different and a, an entirely unique flavor profile. How'd you come up with the idea out of sunflowers? Well, I've, I've used sunflower seed uh, 65 years. For mm -hmm. Small amounts. Right. Uh, today we uh, uh, well legally we we worked on it about a year to get where we where mm -hmm. we're at now. Right. So uh, it's a unique taste. It is. Uh, Tell me, uh, t uh, I, I don't know where you would go to get sunflowers like this or yeah. sunflower seeds like this. But how many does it take, for example, to make a barrel? Of the of the spirit like this, um, several hundred pounds. Right. You know, it takes around uh, four hundred pounds mm -hmm. to make uh, and fill one barrel. Right. Um, you know, so we we use um, a small batch where we do seventy percent sunflower mm -hmm. seeds and thirty percent right. corn. All right. So we need a little bit more corn. Sure. Yeah, for the starch. Changes the mash bill around yeah. a little bit. All right, man, tell me, uh, one here is kind of an amber color and one is much lighter. What's yeah. the difference in the two of these? Tazare is barrel aged, you mm -hmm. know, like your traditional finest bourbons and whiskeys. Right. Uh, the amber color is going to be aged in recycled bourbon barrels mm -hmm. uh, and the red is actually recycled red wine barrels, and both of them give a very unique taste. Uh, the uh, bourbon barrels gives you the smokiness, mm -hmm. and it kind of masks a little bit of the nuttiness, and the red wine barrels gives you the full nuttiness of the sunflower uh, seeds. And this is available at stores that yeah. sell liquor uh, in Georgia, and you've got it here in Tennessee, correct? Yeah, absolutely. Right, open up one of these. We're going to see if we can get a little whiff test. Go ahead, now, Chef. what's the best way to enjoy this i mean do you a lot of folks put chasers of some sort with their whiskey what from the expert what do you think i uh i like it straight mm -hmm. and just on ice but it it's good to make a uh cocktail right uh just use it like you would some of the others yes correct? yes it makes yeah. good buddy mary if you like buddy mary makes it good. really yes. i wouldn't i would not have thought that now yeah. if you take a piece of ice and drop it in, Drop it on the floor, or drop it in the glass. Tell us, uh, tell us how this alters the taste somewhat. It makes the nose bloom. It pulls mm -hmm. out all the flavors, like in the Tazray Red, which you've got. Right. You're going to have uh, hints of blackberry and licorice that comes out when you drop the ice, especially in your on your nose. Yeah, really, it's different. So, gentlemen, congratulations on the milestone. Good luck. You'll be hearing more about these folks and about what's going on at the Dalton Distillery. They're going to be teaming up with us here in something that I can't really talk about yet, but it's called the 12 Days of Christmas. Now, if you want more information, check out the Dalton Distillery. Yes, yeah. Great food. The website, tazaray.com. That's T A Z A Ray.com. Hang in there. We're back with more right after this. Mm -hmm. I need